Hi everyone, myself Ashutosh Joshi. I am a physics honors student from Hansraj College, University of Delhi. I secured All India Rank 4 in this year's IIT JAM physics exam. And today I am here to guide you for your uh, examination preparation for all the MSc entrance examination. Okay, so physics as a subject, it has its own taste, own flavor. And when we prepare for a competitive exam, it is very important that we brush up our fundamentals very clearly. We are very strong in them and we have a very good conceptual clarity. For that, it is very important that you have a good guide. That is a good standard book which you follow. Here are a few tips which I would like to give for the standard books to follow. For example, the very first subject which you get started with is mechanics. I would recommend a book by Klippner to start with the subject. Similarly, a book by David J. Griffiths, Introduction to Electrodynamics is an excellent one for electromagnetic theory. For thermal physics, there's an excellent book by Gerg, Bunsel and Ghosh and a book by Blundell and Blundell is also famous among students. For subjects like electronics, I would uh, really uh, refer that you should uh, attend your college classes very uh, properly and prepare detailed notes. Quantum mechanics ke liye, there is a book by uh, DJ Griffiths that is an excellent book and to start with the fundamentals of quantum mechanics or I should say modern physics in general including STR and radioactivity and nuclear physics all those concepts are beautifully presented and presented in uh, concepts of modern physics by Arthur Weiser. For uh, oscillations and waves, we can refer to AP French, that's a classic text. For optics, Jenkins and White is a very good one. But if you just want to like a minimum requirement for uh, optics, then the concepts of physics volume 1 by H.C. Verma is also a very good choice. For mathematical physics, there is a text by Marielle Bose that is a very excellent book that will give you an insight into how really mathematics works. So these are the standard books which you should follow for your preparation of IIT JAM or any other MSc entrance exam. When you study these books, it's very important that you prepare short notes and keep them compiled properly in preferably a notebook. So whenever we prepare for an exam, it is really, really important that you go through all the standard texts that are required for your subject. That would actually develop your concepts in such a manner that you will never forget them. And that will allow you to analyze the problems of the subject in a very quick and concise manner. Now, since we are uh, preparing for a competitive examination, which essentially is a numerical based examination, so just uh, conceptual clarity of the subject is not suffice. I need to have a very good uh, understanding of how to solve the problems of the subject. For that, I would recommend uh, doing the problems from the standard book. But again, if you do not have sufficient time for that, you can at least stick to the PYQs of the uh, exams. So PYQs of IIT JAM Physics, uh, JEST Physics, TIFR Physics, all are available throughout the internet. You can download them chapter wise and practice them along as you solve the standard books. One important advice is when you solve the problems, you will notice that there are certain problems which are actually repeated in the exam or there is another class of problems which you might find difficult. I would advise that you just highlight or mark those problems and keep them safe so that when you revise uh, your uh, notes and all, you just go through those problems uh, again. The thing with PYQs is when you solve PYQs, you really get an idea of what exactly the exam wants from you. You get an idea of what exactly is the exam, uh, examiner going to ask. So that really gives you an insight of the exam and therefore this problem solving, it becomes a very important part of your examination preparation apart from the conceptual clarity. And therefore both these things, solving the PYQs as well as having a good understanding of the fundamentals of the subject will uh, help you in getting a very good rank in IIT JAM or any other exam you are preparing for. So the next question which comes to our mind is when really to start with the IIT JAM preparation or any other exam preparation. So if, if you look at the curriculum or the, sub, uh, or the syllabus of the exam, it is uh, easily uh, obvious that you should at least start one year before the examination. Ideally, when you take admission into a graduation course, you should start from the very first day preparing for the exam. But I would say that at least one year of preparation is specially required if you want to get a very good rank in the exam. So the next question that comes to our mind is when to start with our preparation and that indeed is a very important thing. If you are in, in your graduation course and if you are someone who studies the subjects uh, with a good conceptual clarity in your semesters, then you already have a necessary background 
for uh, for appearing in this exam but if you are someone who hasn't uh, really studied a lot in the first year of the uh, course first year of the college then i would recommend that at least you start one year before the exam the exam it really needs a lot of problem practice and a lot of conceptual clarity the syllabus is really huge and therefore this much time would be required to cover the entire syllabus properly and also you have to remember that not really you just have to cover the syllabus you also have to keep some space for the revision you have to do later on another important thing is that you prepare consistently for the exam now it is obvious that instead of uh, burning yourself for two months it's very easy to prepare for the exam throughout the year so include this exam in your timetable study consistently devote every day at least three to four hours for problem practice Uh, short notes preparation and reading of standard books that only is going to guide you throughout your preparation for the exam if you are already late if you are someone who is watching this video in the final semester of your college then i would say that it's high time now you at least need 6 months of harsh preparations to get a decent rank in this exam sometimes what happens is that the students they really start their preparation of the it jam exam in november the it jam exam is usually scheduled in the month of february that too in the first week of february so you can't re- you can't really count february now when you have to cover such a huge syllabus in just 3 months it i would say simply is impossible a very good idea is to begin as soon as possible i would even go on to say that start your preparation from the very first day of your graduation so therefore i would say that you start your preparation as early as possible and you at least aim to cover the syllabus once and also to revise the syllabus at least once before the final exam few more things which i would like to point out is that when you study physics from those standard books it actually is very important that you maintain short notes of each and every subject you study apart from short notes it's also very important to maintain the formula sheets for examples there are subjects like quantum mechanics or optics which really has a lot and lot and lot of stuff to remember it's very difficult for anyone to remember all that stuff at once and in this scenario short notes and formula sheets are your best friends they'll help you revise the subject in a very easy and concise manner they'll also uh, help in the last minute revision before the exam so it uh, frequently happens that when you study a paper and you go on to some other paper it is very often that we forget for example if i studied quantum mechanics first and then i went, went to something like uh, electronics it's very common for me to forget the concepts not really the concept but i would say the formulas of quantum mechanics in that scenario my short notes act always have helped me to revise all the concepts which i studied there if you are watching this video very late in your preparation then i would say that instead of studying hard you should focus on studying smart there are subjects in the exam that you need to analyze those require a lot of efforts but give very less return For example I would uh, say electronics electronics is a subject if you haven't studied electronics and in my experience I have seen my mates struggling with electronics if you haven't prepared anything in electronics and you are already late the exam is in coming 2 or 3 months I would say do not uh, just uh, give your time to electronics give it to the subjects in which you already are strong in one similar subject is mechanics if you are not very much into solving the me- uh, problems of mechanics uh they re- really require a lot and lot of efforts so if you are someone who struggles at solving the mechanics problem i would again recommend ki do not spend a lot of time in solving those problems just go through the basic concepts and uh, move to the subjects in which you already are strong there are uh, many subjects which you have to analyze yourself so what you do is you download the previous year question papers look at the patterns what kind of questions you are getting from what subjects and then analyze which subjects are those in which you can score much giving less efforts that is very important one more thing which i would like to add is never keep january as a month of your preparation because it jam exam as i said it is scheduled in the first week of february so january i would recommend that keep entire january for your revision aim to finish your syllabus till december so that in january you can not only uh, revise the syllabus but you can also practice some problems as well as the previous year questions now for any exam as important as your preparation 
is your temperament. Examination temperament is something which you really need to work on. 15 to 20 days before your exam, I would recommend that you start downloading the previous year question papers of IIT JAM exam. Sit with them, put a timer. I would, uh, what I did, is, uh, did was, I used to put a timer of two and a half hours and used to solve the previous year papers. You can also try that, but at least I would recommend that put a timer of three, uh, three hours and try to appear in that exam. Subject yourself to the constraints you will be uh, subjected to on the day of the exam. There will be an issue of time management. There will be an issue of silly mistakes. There will be an issue of uh, remembering all the subjects at once. So all those things, you will get a practice and you will get a used to all that when you appear in previous year questions. After you solve the previous year questions, always check your result. Not only check, but also evaluate yourself. Evaluate where you are going wrong. Evaluate how many questions are there which you knew but you couldn't solve for some reason. Evaluate how many questions were there for which you got a negative marking. That is very important. Also take care of how many questions were there in which you did a calculation error. That again is very important. In IIT JAM exam, you get an on-screen virtual calculator. When you solve the previous year question papers with that timer, I would never recommend you to have your scientific calculator in hand or your phone's calculator. I would always recommend that go to the IIT JAM website, they'll post the sample paper there, use their calculator and see if you are compatible with that. You should have enough practice of that calculator so that on the exam day, it actually gets stored in your muscle memory ki which key is in which position. Now IIT JAM exam, it has 60 questions in all and you have 180 minutes to solve them. That gives you an average of 3 minutes per question. Now in exam, there will be simple questions, but there will be questions which will require large amount of time. Sometimes what will happen that you'll get stuck in some concept or in some problem and you'll be tempted to do that problem uh, to, to give more time to that problem. But do take care that you do not have to score 100% in your exam. Okay, so when you see that there is some problem, you're getting stuck to it, do not give more than seven to eight minutes to any problem. If, if, it, it, if it is taking longer than that, leave it and attempt it in the end move to other problems. So time management is actually of immense importance in this exam. You need to make sure that you at least go through the entire paper once in that three hours and solve as much questions as you can with uh, as much efficiency as you have. Okay, so there are some more important things which you need to add up to your schedule a few days before the exam. You need to focus especially on your health, uh, especially one or two days before the exam. You need to remember that you need to have simple food, you need to have a good routine, sleep on time, disengage from social media especially. Do not do anything which will give you examination stress or something like peer pressure. Do take care that you reach the examination when you're on time. Relax there for at least half an hour. Sit in the exam with a cool and composite mind. Even if something like a technical glitch occurs in the exam, do not take any stress of it. Even if you see that the examination is a bit difficult, do not again take stress of it. Do not get panicked by whatever situation comes in front of you. Just believe in what you have prepared and give the exam in your best state of mind. So lastly, just keep in mind that this IIT JAM is just one exam and it is not something which really is the only factor deciding your future. There are a lot of variables which are not in our hand. Sometimes what might happen is that the subjects we haven't studied, you might get more questions from that. Sometimes uh, your luck might not go your way. Sometimes you might end up doing some uh, calculation silly mistakes. All those things will impact your rank for sure, but they should not impact your mindset. Whatever you have gained while preparing for the exam will be with you forever. And there are a lot and lot of other opportunities waiting for you. So this is just an exam. Whatever be the result, do not get distressed. Always uh, be in your best spirits. Give the exam your best and leave everything upon you.